Uh, good evening, I'm Jeff Dunn, Commissioner of the Alabama Department of Corrections. And tonight, by order of the Alabama Supreme Court at 9.54 p.m. Central Standard Time, the state of Alabama carried out the execution of Robert Bryant Melson by lethal injection at the William C. Holman Correctional Facility in Atmore, Alabama. Robert Melson was executed for the 1994 capital murders of Nathaniel Baker, Tamika Collins, and Daryl Collier. Mr. Melson did not give a final statement, and the inmate was pronounced deceased by a physician at 10.27 p.m. Central Standard Time. Prior to the execution, I met with the Collins family, and they have asked me to read the following statements. The first statement is from a cousin, and I'll read that now. The day has finally arrived where final justice has been carried out for the senseless and cowardly act that tore lives apart 23 years ago. Three innocent people had their lives taken away, and the fourth, whom I like to term he uses, a survivor, had his whole world changed. The execution of Mr. Melson does not change the acts that he so violently carried out, but it gives our family closure on a chapter of our lives that has been painful to say the least. We were already a close family, and this event only drew us closer to one another to help us to endure the following years that we have had to sit back and watch Mr. Melson continue to live and appeal time and time again. But the day has finally arrived when my aunt Denise Collins and cousin Lashundra can get some closure on the whole situation. Since that time, my uncle, Mr. Joseph Collins has passed, but I know that this was a day that he waited for, and today he is represented by his brothers and other family members. On that dreadful day, I not only lost my cousin and best friend, Tamika Collins, but I also lost a dear and close friend, Mr. Nathaniel Baker. Life has not been the same without them, but we have all attempted to move forward and keep their memory and legacy alive. This time I'll read the statement from the Collins family, to whom it may concern. We are the family of the late Tamika Renee Collins of Gadsden, Alabama, who was brutally murdered on April 16, 1994, one of the four employees on duty at the Popeye's restaurant on East Megan Boulevard. We are here today, 23 years later, to witness the execution of the murderer, Robert Melson. He has been on death row for over 21 years, being supported by the state of Alabama, and feels that he should not suffer a little pain during the execution. What does he think those three people suffered after he shot them, leaving them in a freezer, and the lone survivor who was still suffering from his wounds and his mental state of mind? How does he think this family felt? Parents losing their firstborn, grandparents losing their first grandchild, siblings losing her only sister, aunts, uncles, and cousins losing their loved one. Has he no feelings for anyone but himself? These are the questions he and his lawyers should have thought of while trying to preserve his life and leaving all the other people, family of the deceased, to suffer. God forbid the execution will go quickly, but if it does not, the suffering he encounters will remind him of what those three young people went through for a few hundred dollars that they did not get a chance to enjoy. There are so many feelings this family would like to express that we feel we would better be better if left unsaid. We are grateful to God for sustaining us to endure these years of suffering, heartaches, and missing our loved one. But we survive by hard work, prayer, and togetherness. Remember, the family that prays together stays together, respectfully, the Collins family. That ends the prepared statement by the family. And at this time, if I could have the representatives of the media pool, uh, if they would want to come forward, or I can take questions, whichever y'all prefer. Questions, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. Don, um, the... Um, the execution tonight. Are there any others planned at this point? And do y'all even have the drugs available 
right now for any further executions at this point? Uh, I'm not aware of any uh, executions planned at this time, but uh, we are prepared to carry out uh, any executions that the, that the court deems fit. Do you have is, supply mm -hmm. of the drugs? Uh, well, as y'all know, we don't talk really about our protocol and all that, but, but we're prepared to carry out our responsibility should the court ask us to.